Hello. Let's talk about the Invisible Man. I know, I know, I am late to the game. But listen, I like to do things on my own time. All right? So if you don't know, the Invisible Man follows Cecilia on her journey to uncover the truth about her abusive ex-husband and his supposed suicide and how she is being taunted by someone or something she cannot see. First, I gotta say, the people who add sounds into films, like editors, sound engineers, I don't know. Either way, they are geniuses. There were like these moments when there were like these booms that just added so much intensity and like it subconsciously heightened my anxiety. I mean that's not hard to like trigger my anxiety but whatever. <laughs> and then there were these moments that the music like didn't even sound like music. It was just like so violently aggressive and my heart was beating so fast. Another moment in this film that really got my heart beating was the attic scene like when she throws the paint on him. So I was making dinner, spaghetti, if you wanna know. And I was watching this movie and I took the pasta off of the stove to like drain the noodles. And I, <laughs> I almost spilled the water all over myself during the paint scene. I vividly remember being like, hello? Also her like shitty dead husband, their house is like, did you see that house? They're like rich, rich. It was like a fucking fortress. Also, I have to give props to one of my favorite people in the whole world, Lee Winnell, for directing, and I think he also helped write this horrific, brutal, amazing, disturbing film. I mean, the angles and the long pans just added like so much drama to my eyes and also made you think like, oh shit, is Invisible Dude there? Like, is he there in the corner? Is he watching her? Like, why, why is the camera doing that? I also wanna mention I was brought back to this movie. I actually really liked this movie. I know, I know, two totally different movies. But hey, we all remember things in our own ways, you know? This film also attests that people with money can literally do anything that they want. <sighs> also, yes, this film is technically a remake. The first film was released in 1933, and it's about a doctor who stumbles upon a potion that can make him invisible, but the side effect of the potion is insanity. So this doctor goes on a violent rampage and the police struggle to hunt him down because obviously they cannot see him. Also, I gotta say if I was Cecilia in this film, I would have literally strapped a GoPro onto my head to live stream to James and whoever else wanted to see it. This horror film also tapped into one of the hardest horror tropes I think that there is. And what I mean by that is one of these hardest, scariest horror tropes, which is trying to convince people around you that you are not crazy uh, because you see things that are not there. And how everyone in the film is trying to like rationalize what you're seeing. I mean, the restaurant scene, are you kidding me? So I was sitting down to eat my spaghetti and I was so immersed in the conversation between the two sisters and then like the knife floating next to her head and then quickly slicing her sister's throat and then like whoop, right back into Cecilia's hand. I almost choked on my dinner. I almost choked on my spaghetti. Note to self, don't cook or eat during a film that was written and or directed by Lee Winnell. But I mean, this is how horror is done, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, throughout the film, she's just transmitting all of these things and all of these signs that she's like losing her mind. But of course, as the audience, we know that she's not losing her mind. Like everything she was saying, like, he's here, he's in the room. And everyone was like, ooh, she's batshit crazy. But we all know it's Adrian. <laughs> but I love you, Oliver Jackson Cohen. You are so fine. Anyway, <laughs> but fuck you, Adrian. Ugh. Another thing that I caught myself thinking was how the hell did this invisible man able to get to places without like bumping into anybody? Adrian legit has Harry Potter's invisibility cloak, but instead of finding out what Draco Malfoy is up to, he is fucking everything up for Cecilia and like murdering people instead. Also, did he like give himself superpowers? Because he was like crazy strong, but I mean, I guess <sighs> I'd have to theorize that because he is invisible, he can sort of like, you know, wind up for the punch, the punch. I don't know. Okay, 
I gotta get a little serious. This movie, of course, has the overarching theme of shitty ass men who control women and how it can take a huge mental, physical, and emotional toll on these women. And sometimes to fully get out of the situation, you have to, these women have to go to the extreme. I mean, Cecilia was almost indicted for murder. She was kept in a mental institution. And yes, Cecilia had her femme fatale moment at the end of the movie, but like at what cost, you know? Also at the end of the movie, I wanna know where her and James's like friendship is. Like, how does it stand now that obviously James knows what she did? I assume that he has to understand, but at the end of the day, he's a cop. I don't, you know, that's just, just my brain theorizing because I always like to know like more. Anyway, loved this movie. Really great, amazing script, amazing acting, directing all of it. I loved this movie. All right, let's read some of my favorite Letterboxd reviews. Okay, this first one's funny. Someone give Elizabeth Moss a nice relaxing rom-com. I don't think she wants one. I think she's good. Even when men are invisible, they cause fucking problems. Stay where we can see you fuckers. <laughs> the horror genre, this person's yelling. The horror genre is alive and well and everybody say thank you, Miss Elizabeth Moss. Hopefully that didn't hurt your ears. This one's funny. Kind of goes back to what I was saying before. Uh, Harry Potter's Cloak and Visibility. Who are you? John Cena. I'm you, but stronger. Who are you? Adrian's, invil Adrian's Invisibility Suit. I'm you with little cameras, but Elizabeth Moss is stronger than us. <laughs> Cecilia gets her revenge. Score intensifies. She smiles and it cuts to credits. Me. Yeah, I love a final gore moment and I love cinema. Me too. Me too. And that's it. All right, guys. Uh, hope this video was entertaining. And I'll see you when I see ya.